My parents saw me dancing all the time. They put me in class when I was six. I loved it. I started dancing before school, after school, on the weekends. We'd be traveling. I mean, even growing up, like, I, you know, had to fight. I was like, no, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I don't care what you think of me. And my parents were always like, yeah, but you're not going to make any money. I was like, so? And they didn't know how to answer. Every time I got a job, I would call them and be so excited. They're like, are you making money? I'm like, no, but I'm happy. I think the people that find their passion, I would say is way less than 50%. Fashion, I think, is expression larger than an individual. I think style is very like honed in. I got these amazing dead stock Python shoes in New York. Uh, these jeans are from Them Jeans here in LA. Uh, they always tell you not to wash them. I just, just washed these because I had to. I probably hadn't wa washed white jeans in six months. The shirt, I think at Goodwill, it's a silk shirt. I got this beautiful piece at uh, Weltenberger, which is a um, half vintage, uh, half like international designer uh, shop here in Los Angeles. It was a gift from my roommate. She got it in Africa. Uh, this earring I got when I was at the Vidscuff shop in Copenhagen. Um, last trip there. This hat. I love that you can go like this and it exists. I love the shape of it. It's very like military. I love incorporating like what I would do at a club, freestyle into my classes as well. I think it's important to share a dance experience with other people in a different way. I just danced with Arcade Fire at Coachella. Four dudes in high heels, cutoffs, and just like flannels, and no makeup, just like dudes in heels performing in the middle of the crowd. I didn't know it was a dream of mine, but it was. And I feel like I, I really set strong intentions, and like, they come, and I do it, and I always have to make new dreams. That's awesome.